Hi guys, Jessica here. In today's video, we're shooting photography student Hello. versus pro photographer. All right, so joining me today is photographer Maha. I've actually known her for, God, like over 15 years. Hello, my name is Maha. I'm a mixed media artist. I studied fine arts and photography. I do a lot of mixed media photography stuff, so I like shooting film and then collaging over it, or I'll take like digital photos and print them out and then cut them up. So just mostly mixed media. I've taken film classes. I've taken like black and white one and two, and then I've taken digital photography classes where I learned how to use like a DSLR and like composite images and Photoshop. Nice, okay. and awesome, so are you ready for today's challenge? Yes. Okay, so let's grab the model, go to the location, and get started with the first round. Uh, my strategy is going to be just to get better shots than Jessica. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Sophia. I'm 21. I actually just graduated from MSU, so now I'm taking a year to model full time. I've been doing it for about five years now, and I'm really excited to do the challenge today. The camera and lens I'm using today is I have a Canon 80D and then I have a 50mm 1.8 lens. She has a pretty cool outfit on. We got a bunch of friends here. The ducks are like... <laughs> I'm gonna take some like back here first. All the way back here. <laughs> Could you put like your left hand like on your waist and then put your other hand like higher like yeah. yeah i'm gonna stand here <laughs> i'll just like talk people through things i usually have like some kind of conceptual idea of like how i want the pictures to look before i take them can we take some of you like sitting down um Somewhere where there's not garbage, but like in the shade. Do you want straight out or? Like one vent maybe. Oh, it's so bright. Hold on. So for me, Maha is the definition of an introverted photographer. It's so interesting to see how she shoots. She's very calm. She's very reserved. Um, she gives direction here and there, not too much. I'm just gonna take some like. wanna move me like in whatever way. Okay, yeah. I see the model also, you know, asking like, oh, do you want me to move this way? Do you want me to move that way? So it's a collaboration between the both of them. For me, it's, it's a little bit different because I've been doing this for so long. I know what poses I want. I'm very assertive uh, with my directions and everything, but that's after years of doing this. Maybe after a couple photo shoots, she'll, she'll start bossing people around, you know what I mean? <laughs> she'll be like me. Should you put your hand like higher up when you do that? Yeah. Like, so the shadows on your like face and your eyes, yeah. Yeah. And then just stay there. Move your hand a little bit, yeah. I think I should be done. Like, I got a few good shots. So. <laughs> I hope I don't ruin all your camera settings right now. <laughs> I'm going all the way down to 1.8. Let's go, okay, here we go. Wow, we got that creaminess in the back. It reminds me of a can of Campbell's soup. Creamy, right? No, bad joke. Yeah, usually. Okay. <laughs> I tried it. Yeah, have your hands kind of like even in the middle right here. Yeah, right there. We got that sunlight coming in. You can't really see, but it looks good. Actually, let me, oh, this looks like senior pictures. Oh gosh, nope. Yeah, no. Senior pictures. Okay, we already, well, you got, you graduated college. So it's, ooh, this technically is her senior, this technically is her senior pictures because she just graduated. You should have brought your cap and gown. <laughs> I feel like this water is making it look like senior yeah, pictures. Totally. When I'm sitting down too. Yeah, like okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's do um, the tree. Trees are vogue, so we're going to the tree. 
right? But that's also senior pictures too. Oh. If it looks weird, then it's good for the picture. Don't have your hands too out. Yeah, yeah, right there. And then look, looking this way. So I noticed Jess is a lot more vocal than me and she gives better directions. I'm not as vocal, but I generally have a vision in my head. But considering she does this all the time and I don't really take portraits too often, I think it's, it's interesting to watch her work. And then let's just do like a classic portrait, like a senior picture. <laughs> the theme of my photo shoot is senior pictures. Great job. Yeah, don't move, stay right there. Lift your chin up a little. Ooh, these, oh my God, you're gonna, you're gonna love these. Maha, are these JPEG or raw? They're raw. That's how we know she's a true professional. I love you. I think using Maha's ADD kind of reminded me why I don't use a lot of primes anymore. Um, I have to move around quite a bit, which I don't mind, but having the 24 to 70, it's a little bit more versatile and I can just zoom in and out. And I'm able to get a variety of shots, whereas with the 50, you can just take more portraits um, unless you're backing all the way up into the next parking lot over. So I don't know, it was, a, it was definitely um, a blast from the past, I guess. <laughs> so now we're gonna be using my setup. It's gonna be my 5D Mark IV with my 24 to 70. I'm really excited, let's go. So this is the second outfit. We changed Sophia into this beautiful black dress. Uh, it's gonna flutter out a lot. We can get some dynamic shots with it. And then we also added this headpiece. I got it off of Amazon for like $15. We're gonna be using my setup. It's gonna be the 5D Mark IV with the 24 to 70 lens. It's really heavy. So uh, are you ready for some arthritis, Maha? I'm ready. Maha's ready to get arthritis using the, my very heavy camera setup. So let's get started. Do something where you kind of, yeah, bring in your shoulder, yeah. Yeah, stay right there. Okay, so I feel like I got that shot. Hopefully, you know, it looks the same as it does on the screen. Um, okay, and let's do one of you just like standing. Maybe like right here. Yeah. I feel like I'm in Jumanji or something. Okay, <laughs> swear to God, like where'd the street come from? It's been here for like 200 years. Yeah, don't move, stay right there. Have like one leg out a little bit more. Yeah. I need an updated eye test after this. I have to, can't see anything. This is something kind of like very soft, like you just read a book and you finished the book and you really liked it. Yeah, just like, yeah, that's beautiful. That's very nice. I like the, the you had your hand over, yeah. A couple other things I noticed about Jess when she was shoot, shooting the second, the second outfit in the second location is that she has the model move around a lot more and she's also like always continuously shooting. She's, she's getting as many shots as she can in like each pose. Yeah, don't move, stay right there. So that went awesome. I had a little bit of difficulty using my flash. I was really trying to get the sky exposed as well as Sophia, but it was so tricky to figure out the settings for the flash, like the brightness, and then the settings for my camera. So it was like, I, I really only got like two or three poses out of that because I was so fixated on just using the flash. And it was so incredibly heavy. Like this by itself is really heavy and then adding the flash was even heavier, so. Otherwise, we did it good. I hope the pictures turned out. I mean, I, I know that they turned out good. Oh, I said, do you keep it on 70 when you shoot generally? I think it was 24. And did you drop your lens because it's look, looking a little dingy? <laughs> it's okay, my lens was like $99 on sale. I don't like your camera, Jessica. You like that touch screen, huh? I have a touch screen. We're not that outdated. Yeah, we don't use buttons here. Can we stand over here? All right. Just like right in the middle over here. I don't like that patch of grass, it's ugly, but. <laughs> Do you spin? Like slow? Pollen just flew up my nose. <laughs> it's 
good. The clouds don't show as much as I would like them to, so we just changed that. Could you scrouch down so I could get a shot from like above your head? I'm just yeah. short. Yeah, just like this. Um, yeah, that's fine. Maha said I was more vocal in the first round, didn't she? I already know I have a big mouth, I'm always talking. So she probably picked up on that because I noticed now she's giving a little bit more direction. Maha likes to stand on picnic tables. She likes to sit down. She likes to uh, zoom in, go wide. <laughs> she likes to do a little bit of everything. She was getting different poses. She was doing all types of different light, which is amazing. And I feel like this round, she was a little bit more assertive. Maha went to college for photography. I did not, so it's gonna be so interesting to see our two perspectives, someone with a formal education in photography, and then someone like me who just, who self-taught and really didn't know what they were doing. I had no, I, I don't know, I didn't know from the start, but I learned, and so it's gonna be interesting to see the two different perspectives. So I'm trying to get a picture of Sophia on the table, but the, the sun is peeking through the clouds and the sky is overexposed. So I'm trying to expose for the both of them. You want to use my flash? I, yeah. So we want to expose for the sky. So you keep turning this until the sky is exposed the way you want it. And then you take a test shot. So take a test shot. And then you kind of adjust the brightness on here to fill the model. I can add more on here? Yeah, there you go. It goes up to 10. Cool. Oh, that's so much better. Love that. Perfect. <laughs> is going to be the one it's going to be the one that ends Jessica <laughs> so the sun is setting it's I don't know what time it is it's like seven o'clock right now so it's it got a little bit dark it's pretty cloudy I tried to use Jess's external flash I was having like a little bit of difficulty exposing for both the model and the sky everything was coming out super overexposed yeah we we made it we got through it we got a couple good shots card full it's okay, I think we got, we got this shot. The only difference I really noticed is with Maha, I kind of say, oh, like, is this good? Do you like this pose? What do you want me to do? And Jessica's like, do this, do this, do this. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. If someone kind of tells me the mood they're going for, I can pretty much do whatever pose but I do kind of like validation from the photographer saying, oh, that looks really good in the picture because I have no idea what I look like. So um, when they're saying that's a great pose, it helps me feel more confident in the pose. If you're interested, you can follow my journey as a model this year. I'll be doing it pretty much full time. So my Instagram is at Sophia Heidema, H-U-I-T-E-M-A. Wait, I think I said it wrong. It's Soph Heidema. I think both rounds went really well. Would you say so? Yeah, I had such fun time. You did so good, Sophia. Let's just take a moment to appreciate our amazing models. Again, one of them is Sophia. I work with her so much and you did thank so you. well. And like, thank you so much. Just thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Follow her on her Instagram. She's gonna be modeling full time. She just graduated. So I'm gonna have her Instagram down below. And also check out Meha's Instagram. She has some cool stuff on there. You have your collage art on there too. Yeah. Are you gonna be submitting some photos that are collaged to this challenge? Maybe, possibly. So we would love to thank Sophia for modeling for us today and then Maha for joining me and photographing alongside me. Check out all the links down below. Let us know which photo you guys like best and we'll see you guys in the next video.